I just saw this raft in the water, okay? And I was like, hey man, check this out. What's that over there? We go, we, we turn around the boat, because it looks like there's someone inside, dude. And we find a dead body, dude. Oh my God, I can't make this up. It was Jonathan Pena's first time out on a shrimp boat when he made this unlikely discovery. Oh my God. A man's body found adrift in the Gulf of Mexico. That's when it was just like, whoa. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The 24-year-old took his smartphone and began documenting what he saw. The decomposing body of a bearded man laying half naked on top of an inflatable tube with a pot of dolphins swimming nearby. That's the first thing that, you know, really affected me was just like seeing how gruesome it was and knowing that, that he put himself in that situation just to come over here. You know, that's, that's what really like stays with me, you know, the most. The captain of the Lady Nora radioed the Coast Guard and just a few minutes later, a helicopter arrived to help recover the body. That was two weeks ago. Now the Nueces County Coroner's Office tells us the man is a Cuban immigrant that sailed from the island with 12 others on a larger raft on June 30th. But after days lost at sea, seven of them split off and made it to Mexico, while the other six were nowhere to be found. The images remain vivid in Peña's mind, a lasting impression that has even caused him to change his views on immigration. There could be other people out there and people are still probably trying to come today, you know, and they're probably still making the same trip decision that this guy made. And that's what you really think about, knowing that like, man, if it doesn't work out, like, that's gonna, what's going to happen to you. Peña, a military veteran, says he'll likely go back shrimping, but he won't do it for long. He says this event has inspired him to start fighting for sensible policies in favor of those who are risking their lives for the American dream. In the port of Brownsville near the Texas-Mexico border, Oscar Margain reporting.